My next guest might be polling single digits, but he sure knows how to win over a crowd. Look at this. This economy is on life support. That's why my 999 plan is a bold solution. And unlike Governor Romney's plan, my plan throws out the old one. He's still hooked to the current tax code. That dog won't hunt. With me now, presidential candidate Herman Cain. Herman, you did a good job last night. Um, do you ever feel, though, like well, you're still you, Rodney Neil. Dangerfield? You're not getting the respect? <laughs> I'm not getting the respect in some aspects of the media, but let me tell you where I'm getting the respect. I am getting the respect, Neil, from the people and the activists. All you have to do is attend some of these rallies, some of these tea parties, and we did a bus tour for two days leading up to this debate, and the turnout was absolutely incredible. So I'm getting the respect from the people. I'm just not getting the respect yet from some people in the mainstream media. Well, there is that. But, you know, I think you have the respect of a lot of your colleagues. This little exchange last night really interested me. I want you to react to this. One step, we'll show this from last night. Uh, uh, okay. If you had to choose a running mate, one of the people on the stage with you, who would you choose and why? Herman Cain, because of his selection of ties. The fact that, the fact that we, both, we both apparently agree with the gold standard while well, you're wearing the yellow ties here tonight. I don't know how you would do this. But if you could take Herman Cain and mate him up with Newt Gingrich, I think you would have a couple of really interesting guys to work with. I don't know about mating up with, with Newt Gingrich, but I get the point. They like you. Um, what, but what well, did you make do, of that exchange? Governor, what, what did you make of that? <laughs> well, Governor Perry made a poor choice of words, you know, mating me up with Newt I know, Gingrich. I know. You know, but anyway, I, I know the point. Here's what I make of it, Neil. Even some of my colleagues that I'm running against recognize that my message is resonating with people. I've even seen some of the phrases that I've used in the first debate being used in some of the later debates. I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know, uh, that's the best, best form of imitation and the best form of flattery. But I think it is the fact that they respect what I bring to this race. They respect the solid ideas and the solid solutions that I am talking about at every debate. I don't get into the political banter, as you notice. No, you don't. No, you don't. I, no, you don't. I, I admire that. that. And, and this next question I'm going to ask you is not because you're an African-American candidate. So I apologize yes. up front if it seems like that, because 